good evening. Good evening. And welcome, welcome to this moment. You know, normally I like to speak from the cuff, but I was compelled tonight to share a new no a few notes for your journey. So I want you to bear with me. You know, if you've had a journey like mine on to a day like today, you might be asking yourself a few questions. Things like, can I keep this up? Or will I make it? Or how long will this last? And is it just a matter of time? And I want to say to you and leave with you this one thing. If I leave nothing else today in this moment with you, I want you to know that you can and you are making it. What you have learned and demonstrated can't be taken from you. You now have every strategy that you have learned forever. You get to hold on to it and do with it as you will. And you literally leverage it for your next success. You have also shown everyone in your family, this community, and even yourselves that you are what? An achiever. Because you achieved something today. Even if you should fall seven times after this moment, you have proven that you know how to stand. And with that knowledge, I hope that you will stand up with the confidence of knowing that you can't be taken back. You can only walk back. And only if you choose. If you are asking yourself, can I keep this up? The answer is yes. If you will breathe, remember, and practice, you most surely keep it up, keep going, and keep moving ahead. When you are tempted to falter or you find yourself on shaky ground, I want you to do this, and I need you to do it with me tonight. I need you to have the reminder of this moment that you are in. One... I want you to breathe. I need everyone to just take a deep breath for me. That is all the time and space you need to make the next right step. If you would just give yourself the ability to breathe in the moment when you are feeling most pressured or you are wondering if it's if it's possible for you or if you can make it or keep it going, breathe. I want you to also remember, I want you to remember a few things. So now that you're hopefully breathing, everybody breathing with me? Maybe like you, uh, like me, you, you've held your breath your whole life, waiting for the next thing to happen. So now we're breathing together and we've realized because of what we've achieved so far, we get to Exhale. Now that we are breathing, I want you to begin to remember things like you have overcame before. When you completed these 40 hours, guess what? You had to overcome some fears about whether or not you would finish, whether or not you would get it, whether or not others would even honor uh, your ability to do it completely, right? So you have already demonstrated that you have overcame even when you feel like you are overcome. Can you hear me when I say that? So as you leave these doors and maybe you worry or feel a little anxious, I need you to breathe and say to yourself, I'm an overcomer and I overcome even when I feel like I'm, I'm, I'm being overcome by something. I also want you to say to yourself, that I have survived 100% of the days that I've had to date. Not 99, 82, 47, but what was that number? 100%. Every day before this day, you've what? 100%. You made it. If I told you that someone had that success rate or that bad and average, would you question their ability to do anything? As a matter of fact, I would put my money on what? Them. That's right. 
on you. And so I also want you to remember, not only are you an overcomer that you've already overcame, that your batting average is 100%. I hope that you will remember that God is never surprised. And so even when you feel uncertain or you are unsure about the plan or the how to, that he knows and he has a plan to get you there. You need but step forth and embrace the process. And guess what? Today you've already demonstrated that you can do that. You embrace this 40 hours, right? I also want you to remember that you have the ability to choose, change, and stop. Did everyone hear that? I have the ability to choose, change, and stop. You are not beholden to anyone or anything, not even your past. You get to change your mind and your course. You can stop participating. You can stop doing things that no longer serve you. You can stop waiting for the other shoe to drop and choose to live, even in this moment. You can stop waiting for life to happen and make it happen because you have the opportunity to choose a life of your desires and hopes. I also want you to do one other thing. You heard me say breathe, remember. Did anyone remember the third thing I want to suggest that you do is practice. Everyone heard that? Practice. I want you to practice what you heard preached in this program first. Oh, yeah. Did y'all hear that? Yes. I want you to practice what you need to do to achieve your vivid vision. You had some steps on there, right? And part of this journey will be fleshing that out in ways that you can break up into your daily walk. So I encourage you to embrace it. I also want you to make sure that you have a practice for every area of your life. You hear me? Every area. Make sure you have a practice for your spiritual life, your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health, and your professional practice. And for the sake of making sure that I leave you with a little something, I just want to share a few of mine. And I won't be much longer. And I hope you're taking some mental notes. My spiritual practice is that I pray. I pray about everything. As a matter of fact, when I call my family members, their mantra is, but have you prayed about it? So they remind me even to seek him first. And they remind me that literally his word says that everything else will be added unto me. Not just half the money I need for my bills, not just the words I need for the interview, but everything. I also want to share that I have a mental practice. It's meditation. I literally begin my day and end my day with uh, stealing myself. And because I am committed to living a conscious life, an empowered one, I have committed to processing what's going on with me instead of just reacting to the things around me. I also have an emotional practice, and I really want you to tune into this one. My emotional practice is forgiveness. Can you hear that? Daily, I forgive myself and others with the understanding that forgiveness is really for me. As a result, I no longer wait for the apology that I never got. I no longer wait for someone to acknowledge what they did to me. As a matter of fact, if they never do, I freely forgive myself and them because it is a gift of life and peace to me. And so after years of holding on to hurts and being angry about a whole lot of stuff, like the first man in my life leaving, where is my dad? Were all the times I thought I really tried hard enough and didn't quite hit the mark that I wanted. Do you know I can forgive it and even say to myself, all things are happening for my what? Good. 
because I have this practice of forgiveness, I now know and stand in the truth of everything is happening for me, not to me. Even the bad stuff or the stuff I wouldn't wish on anyone. Can you hear that? I also want to share just two other practices. I have a professional practice that's to be on time and be open to learning. Even when I feel like I know it all or I've tried most of it and that this person shouldn't be able to tell me anything. Guess what I'm open to? A new perspective, a new approach, a new way of looking at the challenge. And because I will be open to learning and I embrace that, guess what? Over the course of my journey, no matter how frustrated I've been or how hopeless I felt, I've been able to strap my tool belt with a new tool, every interaction that I have with someone, even the folks that I say to myself, well, what could they really tell me about not growing up with a dad? I have lived that. Or what could they tell me about worrying about raising my children alone? I, I've done that. In every instance, when I have committed to being open to learning, guess what I did? I learned, even if I didn't want the lesson. And I have not been worse off for it. And the final practice that I want to share is that I try to walk 20 minutes every day. I'm still working on that. And I'm sure if I said to you, hey, hey. You might want to consider walking. You might look at me and say, mm, and you might want to as well, and maybe a little longer. But I'm hoping that you'll be open to learning. And finally, I want to say, if you doubt the power of breathing, remembering, and practicing, let me tell you where it's taken me personally. It's taken me from high school dropout to four degree holder, Dr. Tiffany Tyler. It's taken me from living on $283 of public assistance a month with my two sons to holding a six figure job for over a decade now. It has taken me from divorcee to happily married to the love of my life. And a, and a man who was everything I never knew I needed. So he's patience when I'm frustrated. He's a listening ear when I want to tell everybody how I feel about the thing. And so I also want to say it's taken me from being a single mom of two sons to a successful set of adults. One who currently serves uh, with our friends, Metro. And so I'll conclude with this. If you are wondering if you will make it in this moment, if you are wondering if you can make it, if you are asking yourself, will I be able to keep this up? Please hear me say yes with every depth of my being. And not because I'm hoping or just hoping for you, but it's because of what you've already demonstrated. So I want to echo everyone else in saying thank you. Thank you for allowing us to celebrate with you tonight. Congratulations.